me tell you something. God is real. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Let me calm down. This morning I go, I just, I'm going to tell you the long story. If you don't want to listen to it, don't listen to it. But this morning I get up at six o'clock and I go to the gym and I don't want to be there. I don't want to be working out, but I do anyways. I finish, take a shower and I leave. It's about nine o'clock when I leave because I take a long time at the gym. <laughs> but I didn't go to the gym at six. It was like 645. It was about seven or something when I had actually started and so um and so yeah I leave I leave the parking lot at nine and then I said hey I want to go to <laughs> I want to go to lineage um for coffee to start working on um some some business administration stuff and I was going to go to the one off of Mills but I decided to go to the one here at East in Market and so I get over here and I sit in my car and I uh and I read the word and um, I'm on Mark second chapter today and I'm reading it and I'm just you know I'm blown away just how God he is how, how Jesus the the second person in the triune God um, how Jesus is and how he articulates himself to people and I'm just amazed at how when the Pharisees questioned him about you know his his disciples and everything how he answers back with questions and like it was just it just it's been this reoccurring thing I've noticed about Jesus but then I see how Jesus sits and he eats with the sinners and the tax collectors and he's just there having a good time with these people who don't know him and then people are sitting there judging him for what he's doing he's sitting there he's eating with people that that don't know who he really is you know but he's sitting amongst these people I mean they know what he can do but they don't know that he's that that he's their savior you know and they just sitting there and eating and having a good old time and and when I close the book and I'm finished I'm just amazed at Jesus and I, and I finish and I and I begin to pray and I pray to the Lord and I'm like Lord and I you know I go through my spiel but then I say Lord please help me to if I get the chance to share the gospel today please give me that opportunity if if it happens that I'm able to actually engage and, and, and do it right, you know? But then, it doesn't, it doesn't happen. But I also pray in that prayer, Lord, if, if I do get the opportunity to share the gospel, please help me listen like you listened, you know? Because that's what Jesus did. He, he was a listener. He asked questions, and then he listened to their answers. And I'm just sitting there, and I'm just praying, like, Lord, help me just be a listener, you know? Because I'm a talker. I talk. <laughs> but just help me be a help me be a listener and so after I do that I get out of the car and I go and I do some a little bit of work on um, man his timing is great but I do a little work on my iPad um, right outside of the lineage coffee shop here at East End and I'm doing some work and then I finish and I'm like man I'm hungry and I don't really want to spend money because, you know, I'm trying to save money because I'm moving in um, to the house because God is good. And he's been working in miraculous ways in my life. And it's just it's, it's crazy. Um, so I don't want to spend any money. <clears throat> but I do see these little posters, these little pa printout papers taped onto the doors of um, of the, you know, if, if you go in and out of the market. And I see these them, them placed there. I'm like, what is, what is this? And I see it, and then I also see this before I even even got here. Before I even went and got out of the car, I saw a man come down with a parking little foldable parking sign um, that said um, uh, the Alpha, and it had a big question mark on it. I'm like, oh, can I not park here? You know, that's what I'm thinking in my mind. But then over there, I see the same the same logo on a paper that says, come out and check out Alpha. And I'm like, what is Alpha? And I'm thinking if it's this area, it may be like a co-working space or whatever. Let me go check it out and see what it's all about. I don't know. I'm just being, 
I, I, at this point, I'm just being led. I didn't have like a full list of things to do today. It was just a lot of business administration work. And so I go up these stairs. I'm still in the parking lot, okay? But I go up those stairs right there those stairs right there which i think somebody told me a long time ago that this used to be a church this entire building used to be a church anyways um i go upstairs to those stairs and before i could even walk in this uh this lady comes out her name is jennifer and she said hi she's so nice she says hi how are you and um and i say i'm good <laughs> and i was just like i was just coming up from the signs to see what the alpha is all about and she was like um well, we're we're uh, she she gave the spiel about how they're an organization that uh, or a group that invites people to come to learn about God, and they ask any question that they want to ask about God, and so essentially it's a evangelism um, group, but in a different kind of way, but not any different from how Jesus did it, basically. Anyways. Um, and I'm just like, wow, this is great. This is a great idea, and I, I, I love it. And so she gave me a book, and then she asked me, and I said, uh, you know, I love it. I'm a Christian myself, and I love to hear that this is happening. She's like, oh, really? And she was like, um, okay, well, what church do you attend? I said, Church in the Sun. And she was like, oh, Church in the Sun. And she had, I don't think Church in the Sun was in. She was like, this is a meeting for leaders. And I was like, oh, okay. And so I didn't know, you know you know and so she gives me a name tag she said come on in you know if you have a if you have some time come on in and we're about to start there's some food here so i said i was hungry earlier right she said then i didn't want to spend no money right she said there's some food here you can go get you know get some food and then we're gonna um talk about um evangelism and da 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 da, da. i'm like bro what <laughs> like in my mind in my mind i'm like what is happening right now god literally i'm I go from reading Mark second chapter, I go from reading this chapter to being on my iPad, getting hungry, about to leave to go get some food, spend money that I don't need to be spending to get food, but then change my mind because I see the sign again that reminds me to go check out Alpha. I go up to the stairs and <laughs> I go up the stairs and I'm invited into this leadership meeting for Alpha. And I'll link what Alpha is down in wherever this video might go. But let me tell you something. My mind is blown by how intentional God is. And how he, you can be being led by God and not even know it, cuz. Like seriously. I was about to go to the downtown, the Mills Colonial lineage, and I decided to come to this one over here. And just so happened, the prayer I had been praying about evangelism, a resource just pops out of nowhere. One of the strongest resources of evangelism I have ever uh, come across. And man, let me tell you, I am so impressed and I am so blessed and I'm honored to know that it, 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 it blows my mind because this is just another, another, this is just another, uh, what's it called? Piece of evidence of how God is so real and how he hears you. He hears you and he's working for what you are asking for. And man, let me tell you, God is, he's not playing around. He is not, this is not no universe stuff where the universe linked every, no, this is not no universe. God created the universe. The universe ain't doing jack for nobody. Jesus is doing everything for everybody. And God literally came in here. He heard my prayer. He, he appointed me in what, what chapter I was supposed to read today. He appointed me in the location I was supposed to be in. And he made sure that I saw the signs in order to get to the place he wanted me to be in. Because he wants me to do exactly what I is desiring to do. And that's to share the gospel. But in the way that I knew there was a way. I knew there was a way that not worked with me, but fit the culture that I'm in. I'm in... It's, this is not just a, like an arts thing, but I'm in a I'm in a industry and I'm a part of a culture that is filled with people 
who are extremely skeptical about Christianity, who are completely against it, who don't want to be a part of it at all. And those are the perfect people to have a conversation with, you know, especially about God. And it's just like, man, I'm extremely excited to be a part of this uh, this here community that uh, of people who are really out there. They're sharing the gospel, man. They're sharing it in a way that, bro, I didn't know. I didn't know existed. And so, I'm just excited. I knew this was gonna be a long video, but I'm I'm just excited. If this is just for me, this is just for me, but. I'm extremely excited for what God is doing in my life right now. Um, and, and I know that if he's doing it in my life, he's doing it in the people that surround me and that's connected to me. And um, this hair is just moving everywhere, but I'm just, I'm so excited. And I don't, honestly, it's just like, he continues to show me how, how I should never doubt him. I should never doubt him and I should um, always be I should always just trust in the Lord and to lean out into my own understanding our understanding is is flawed it, it is corrupted you know we were born into sin so why lean onto the understanding of a, a mind that was born into sin we don't have all of the knowledge and understanding and, and and not just the understanding but the the um the regalness of god or just the majesty of god in order to take our understanding and filter it to the point where it's actually righteous understanding you know what i mean we we don't have that and god got that and so it's just like man it's just like today what, what's today <laughs> february 20th right it's february 20th it's two it is 2 2020 <laughs> and i were i read the second oh my goodness i read the second book of the gospel this i read the second book of the gospels the second chapter of the second book of the gospels on the second month of the on the twentieth day of the second month of the two of two thousand and twenty. If that ain't if that ain't poetic, I don't know what he is, bro. I don't know what he is. Literally, I'm I'm gonna say that again, okay? I read the second chapter of the second book of the Gospels on the twentieth day of the second month. Of 2020 <laughs> what in the world and God did this God did this on this day on this day God showed out in my life and I have no I have absolutely zero room to not trust in him God is good <laughs>